What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install Grammar Police. Alright, now this is the new Vocal Dispatch. This is the new mod that took over Vocal Dispatch and in my opinion, it is much, much better. Okay guys? Um, now, I do have Vocal Dispatch pulled up here for a very good reason, and I'm going to show you why. Because I want to let you guys know, first and foremost, you do not have to have Vocal Dispatch in order for Grammar Police to work, okay? Grammar Police is its own mod. It works on its own, okay? It's just a lot better and a lot more accurate with, uh, you know, the things you say and, and you know, your request for backup and, and your 10A, your 10-7, your 10-30A, your... You know, whatever. It picks you up a lot better, guys. Um, now, I have the vocal dispatch folder pulled up because I'm going to show you guys how to take out your vocal dispatch out of your main directory, okay? So, before we get into the installation of Grammar Police, um, actually, let's go ahead and click the link down there and download Grammar Police so you can guys get that done. Because I actually did this tutorial once. I went back and looked at it and realized I forgot to tell you guys to go to the link. So, uh, let's let's scroll down. And this is your Grammar Police right here. We're going to go ahead and just click download this file right here. As you guys can see, it's recently updated. It was just recently updated Saturday. Okay. We're going to click Agree and Download. And you're going to click the main file right there on the bottom. Okay, guys. I hope you are having a fantastic week so far. And you're happy when you're being in life. And then you're consi saying consi uh, consistent prayer with God. Or some kind of meditation, guys. It's very important. I'm getting tongue twisted. All right. What do you want to do with Grammar Police? One, two, three. Guys, uh, you can click save here to put in your downloads folder or click save as and put it where you like. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, first thing we're going to do, guys, you're going to need your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So go ahead and pull that up. All right. Now, here's what I want to show you guys. Pull up your, uh, open up your vocal dispatch folder. If you have not uninstalled vocal dispatch and you, if you have vocal dispatch, you've not uninstalled it. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, guys. So the first thing you're going to want to take out of your main directory is this auto LTX3 uh underscore time 64.dll now what you do is you look in your main directory and go down here should be right in this area this is mine right here but this is for grammar police now what you do guys is you just kind of use your vocal dispatch winrar file for a reference as to what to delete out of your main directory so you would go down in here and find your auto x lt i mean auto ltx3 file right here the dot dll and you would right click and just delete it out of there okay there is ways to delete mods, guys. There's a way to do it, okay? Now, the next part, guys, do not delete your plugins folder, okay? If you delete your plugins folder out of your main directory and you have other plugins, you're going to mess up your entire game, all right? But here's what you do. Go to your uh, WinRAR or your vocal of your vocal dispatch, double-click on plugins, and LSPFR. Then go to your directory, click on plugins, LSPFR. Now, you're going to want to find these two files right here first and foremost, do not delete the vocal dispatch folder, guys. you got to have that for your arrest manager, uh, stop the ped, alter backup, stuff like that, okay? So find these two files right here. This is going to be your vocal dispatch.dll and your vocal dispatch INI folder or your configuration setting, okay? And they're probably going to be at the very bottom, towards the very bottom, okay? So you want to delete those two out first and foremost, then go back up in your folder and double-click on the vocal dispatch folder right here in your directory. Double-click that, okay? Then you want to double click the vocal dispatch folder inside of your vocal dispatch WinRAR. Now, if you see the audio and default.xml file right here that I've got highlighted inside of your directory over here, go ahead and highlight those two and delete them. Okay? Then we're going to go back, go back in your main directory, and then go to LSPFR in your WinRAR and go to LSPFR in your main directory. Now, here's the thing, guys. You're going to have a police scanner folder. If you had if you had vocal dispatch installed, you are going to have a police scanner folder, and it should be right in here, okay, like between data and keys. All right? Now, here's the thing. If vocal dispatch is the only thing you have installed into that police scanner folder, you can just go ahead and delete the police scanner folder. But if you have something else, some other callout installed in there besides vocal dispatch, then here's what you want to do. You want to double-click on the police scanner folder inside of your main directory, and then only delete out the vocal dispatch audio, okay? That's all you have to do. But 
if vocal dispatch is the only thing you have installed into your police scanner folder then you can just go back in your main directory where police scanner is and delete the entire folder okay it's all you got to do all right guys so now that we got that in the clear let's close that out go back to our main directory and get into this installation let's get rid of that vocal dispatch just want to show you guys that because a lot of people don't take mods out and they leave them in there and they end up overriding one another and that's how your game's game is up crashing all right so double click on your grammar police guys and double click on grammar police grant that auto five and you're going to take every single one of these guys excluding excluding meaning not this one take out the raised any of you guys delete that one okay i mean not delete i'm sorry deselect it hold down your control key and deselect it you're going to grab every single one of these files right here all three of these your lsp of auto plugin and auto ltx3 you're going to pull them into your main directory just like this and drop them okay now let's close out of our winrar and get rid of our shortcut there's also another mod, guys, that goes with Grammar Police called Immersive Dispatch. And I've been looking into it, so I'll probably be doing a tool on that as well. Uh, go ahead over your main directory, double-click on Plugins, double-click on LSPFR. And then um, you have a Grammar Police folder right here. Don't worry about that. Let's scroll on down. And you want to double-click on the Grammar Police configuration setting or the INI file. All right. Now, here's what you want to do. Up here, guys, very important. Division number... And then um, unit type name, and then beat number. Now your div your division numbers can be one through ten. Uh, your beat numbers can be one through twenty four, and your name your names can be any of these right here: Adam, Boy, Charles, David, Edward, Frank, George, Henry, Ida, John, King, Lincoln, Mary, Nora, Ocean, Paul, Queen, Robert, Sam, Tom, Union, Victor, William, X Ray, Young, Zebra. Okay, so you can use any of these for a name if you want. So for example, mine is one. Adam 7 okay I have minus 1 Adam 7 now for example if you wanted to use your name as Robert okay and you wanted your division name your division number to be 3 and your beat number to be 20 you would put 3 Robert 20 okay guys so it's pretty much self-explanatory um, but that is pretty much it with that guys now here's the easy part if you want to change your name whichever name you want to change it to you just go up here and highlight the name you want right click copy and then highlight the Lincoln right here because I know it's Lincoln right click and then paste because by default your division number is one your unit type name is uh, Lincoln and your beat number is 18 so it's one Lincoln 18 by default but you can change that if you like now scrolling on down uh, right here is going to be the button you're going to be using for vocal I mean sir sorry for not vocal dispatch for grammar please sorry guys it's a habit uh, the right menu key so your right menu key is going to be your key for your grammar police okay now let's go on down there's one more thing I want to point out okay so when set to true you can hold down the dispatch key and the dispatcher will not respond until you release the key okay now I find this to be useful in some situations and unuseful in other situations so for example um, it would be useful to me for that if I was, for example, standing still at a crime scene and I was talking to dispatch and I wanted to hold it down and, and say what, everything I had to say until I got done and then release the key. However, when I'm in a pursuit and I want to call for an air unit or spike strips or backup, then it's going to be a little hard to drive and hold down that button while I'm driving and talk to dispatch. So I'd rather just leave it to false, in my personal opinion, so all I have to do is just click that button. Okay? But it's up to you guys if you want to change this to true or false. If you want to change it to true, go right here and highlight this word true. Okay, right click it, copy, and then right click here. I mean, highlight that, right click, and paste. Okay, now since you guys, if you made any changes at all, go ahead and click file and click save and exit out. Okay, now I'm going to take you guys in the game, of course, and show you all how to do that because I'm cool like that. And uh, I will see you guys inside of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it is showtime, and I'm going to show you exactly how this grammar police hey. works. So, starting with uh, pushing your right control key, I mean, I'm sorry, your right menu, your right, your right menu key, okay? So it's not going to be your, it's going to be your right menu key. All right, you're going to push it. Dispatch, show me tonight. Copy that. One, Adam, seven. Proceed okay. with patrol. Now, also shows your call sign there and your status. And then if I'm uh, arriving on the scene, I would say, Dispatch, go ahead and show me on scene. 
Okay, she didn't copy that one. So, one Adam, show me on scene. I don't believe any of that crap. Roger that. One Adam seven. All Approach right. with caution. So there's that. Uh, now we're gonna request backup. Dispatch, send me an ambulance. Okay, so we might have to say request. Dispatch, send me EMT. I'll try it like that. Ambulance. There we go. Assistance required on, um... So you can say request an ambulance or send me EMT, send me an EMT. One Adam, send me a fire truck. Well, one Adam requesting fire truck. Fire truck assistance required on um, Rockford Drive. And the guys, then she's sending a fire truck. There comes a fire truck right there. So you guys, are they actually show up? Now, for those of you that don't know, Grammar Police works through like stop the pet and ultimate backup. That's how it works. That's how local dispatch work too. All right, so there's the ambulance. There's the fire truck right there. All right. Now, I want to kind of get in the pursuit because I haven't really tried the pursuit tech out yet. Like the pursuit, not pursuit tech, the pursuit uh, menu. So we're going to try that. Uh, we got a fight going on back here. <clears throat> Let him fight it out. Sometimes good to do that. So let's get a pursuit going here. The best way to do that is to go just go like this. I'm going to point him as pursuit uh, target. I'm going to aim our gun. Get him! All right. Requesting air unit. Dispatch air unit over. Oh, no mistake, no mistake. <laughs> Love that rumble sign, guys. Requesting backup. Required on, um, Boulevard Del Perro. Six, so guys, you know, when you're in pursuit, I'm going to go ahead and request uh, spike strips as well. Requesting spike strips. Alright, so no spike strips needed. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Dispatch, uh, show me 1015. Okay, so 1015 is suspect in custody, but. Dispatch, show one in custody. Okay, she's not copying that either. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest on um, Boulevard Del Perro. Victor 13, we're at the little coffee shop around the corner. Dispatch, show suspect in custody. See if she'll copy that. Okay. Well, uh, and you guys got to remember too, this is still a beta version, so it's still in the in the works. Um, they're still working on getting this to work. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get that to work that uh, because on vocal dispatch it did work um, Dispatch show suspect in custody Dispatch show one in custody Acknowledged one Adam seven. Okay, so it's out of service, but anyway Because ten seven is out of service. So if you go Dispatch show me ten seven That one Adam seven. So yeah, out of service is that. But that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you just kind of got to, you know, work with a little bit and learn what to say and what not to say. Um, and I'm still learning how to do it as well. I just installed this mod, I think, just two days ago. So it's it's all about, um, you know, what you say to dispatch and, and what she can, how she can respond to you. Um, and uh, that is pretty much it. That is going to do it for the Grammar Police LSBFR tutorial. I appreciate y'all tuning in, guys and girls. 
Make sure you check out my description for my Discord. If you have any issues with Grammar Police or any other mod in your LSPFR at all, uh, check out the uh, check out my description. Click on my Discord, guys, and um, and go to my Discord team, and they'll be more than happy to help you guys. Because I, can, it's just getting to where I can't help you guys, you know, with stuff like that. It's just impossible for me to answer. You know, it's hard enough for me to answer comments now the way it is. Just people saying, "Hey, man, how you doing? Great video." Along with, uh, hey man, I'm having a problem with my game and I need assistance. And I mean, it's not that I can't help you, it's just that I don't have the time. I have the knowledge, I just don't have the time to help you. Um, so, guys, please, if you have any issues at all, please get with my Discord team. Um, and that will be in the description below, ladies and gentlemen. Also, check out my YouTube brothers, brothers down in the description Yo, below. Good? That's going to be Jeffrey Gamer, True Uprising, Captain Horn 23, Highway Trooper. Brandon Holt Vlogs and Simon the Bell Bondsman and also Cookies and Cream will be down there. Guys and girls, I love y'all so much. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.